Afternoon, tubers. It's Saturday, and uh, as I promised yesterday, we're going to see if we can't get this pit fire started and out of its winter home. I got my battery. I had to put some air in the driver's rear tire. It always goes soft. I don't know why. <clears throat> it was leaking around the valve stem last year, and uh, I fixed that. But it would still appear to be leaking. Well, this hasn't been started since uh, I don't remember if I made a video of it starting in the winter but if I did that was the last time it was started well I'm going to set the camera on the tripod and see if it won't start. She started up. I was a little froze to the ground there. But she's running. Like the fancy seat covers? Spit fire, get it? <laughs> I wanted to find cow cowhide, black and white spots, because the car's black and white, but
my dog's mad because he didn't get to go for a ride. <laughs> well, there you go. It doesn't run too bad. It's a little bit cold blooded. It don't like the cold weather. But just so you can get an idea of how small this car is, to this point right here is 42 inches. This is my waist. This is my belly button right here. My waist is a little lower. This is my belly button right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard for me to do this. I'm about six foot, six foot one. It's a little bit tricky getting in that little car. But it needs a good washing after sitting in the shed there all winter. Not bad for 400 bucks. By the time I put the carburetor and the hood scoop and painted it, put the roll cage and the seat covers and a new rear spring and a new battery and a new top. Dog, look out. Not bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little drive. And I'm going to go button up the barn and go visit family this afternoon so there's my car my little spitfire so thanks for watching and uh, keep tuning in now the springs here I'm sure there'll be a lot of interesting projects